My name is Houston, and I'm back with another pickup. This time I got these from, I think it was Poshmark. <clears throat> it was either Poshmark or, no, I think it was Poshmark. I got them for $34. And the condition is really good on them. The only thing that was wrong with them was uh, the toe caps, um, I guess we, what we say, they were detached. Like the this rubber piece was off. But I went and peeled it back a little bit more. I cleaned it with some acetone and cotton balls. And I reattached the toe boxes. Uh, actually did it last night. So this morning I woke up, you know, I peeled the tape off. I used some, um, I guess, what do you call that? Orange stuff goof off. The one that takes off adhesive, sticky glue and stuff. So I put it in a little paper towel and wiped it down. I don't know if you can see it, but I tried to clean it up as much as I could. But yeah, anyway, I got the toe caps reattached on both shoes. So they're good to go now. And yeah, like I said, I paid thirty four dollars for them. Not too bad. These are the two thousand and nine editions. You know the ones with the twenty three on the back. Yeah, it's just they're lightly worn. They're not. You know they're not too bad. Look at the soles here. Soles really don't got a lot of wear on them. It's just a little dirty. No heel drag or nothing on them. They're just a little bit yellowed. They got a slight yellow tint to them. And the shoelaces, one of them, these are replacements that I got. Uh, I got a box full of old laces. So, you know, I pulled these out. And put them on here. These were from another pair that I was in the middle of restoring before I bought these. Um, I had another pair. Let me get them out. I bought these for $20. A couple months ago. And I did the replacement 23 on the back of these. So this was not the original 23 that was on there. Uh, the original one was already off. Like it was barely anything left of the 23. It was just little pieces left of it. It was already stretched and cracking off. So I replaced them and I was in the middle of restoring these. They didn't have the soles. The soles were completely detached so... You can see the front here. These how, these are how these were when they came in. The you know the toe, toe cap was detached. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I may finish restoring them and sell them. I'm not sure yet. I don't know if I might have time to finish them, but yeah. So that's those. And let's get back to these. These are gonna be on foot maybe tomorrow. Uh, I got an appointment with the foot doctor, so I'll probably be wearing these tomorrow. <clears throat> but yeah, these already been washed and clean. A little bit of soap stains right there I got to take off. Uh, I'll probably just wash that off. I think that's just dried soap on there. But yeah, the condition on these is a lot better than the other pair that I had. <clears throat> well, let me show you what I mean. So here's the right shoe. And you can see the leather has a lot of creases in it. It looks like the glue underneath the... Underneath the top layer is coming off or it's melted or something. You know, I'm not really sure, but that and there's a little bit of melting on the 
the foam. Yeah, so that's what's wrong with those. That's like the main flaw. But you know, I picked these up, so these are gonna be the what I'm gonna be wearing. I do have the one with the 45 on the back. But the soles on those are pretty messed up. They got a lot of heel drag on the on those 45s. But I wanted a pair with the 23 on the back, so I'm gonna be wearing these. Yeah, the patent leather is pretty good. It doesn't have any major scuffs or anything on it. It just has a couple of little scratches. I got to wax them and buff them out. But you know, that's it. That's... I'm trying to get up close to them so you can see everything. think this one has a scratch it's got a scratch right there in the middle it's a little tiny scratch but I think that's about it I didn't see oh there's one right there in the middle yeah so the right shoe's got a two small scratches on the patent leather but that's about it uh, the shoes are, like I said, about 15 years old now. So the soles are going to be yellow. I don't have an indoor icing machine yet. I haven't made one. I don't know if I will anytime soon, but if I do, these will be the probably the first pair I put in there just to try it out and get to know how to use that machine. Or get to know how to use the ice box so, but yeah i'm pretty happy with this purchase you know 30 34 dollars for a pair of 09 space jams they just needed the toe caps uh re-glued and that's pretty good uh, you can save yourself a lot of money if you know how to do your own work But yeah, let me go ahead and get up out of here, and I'll catch you on the next video.